Hello everyone. So today I am taking a look at the Zendua A3 external battery pack. Now this is a second generation with Zen Plus technology. I honestly don't know what the first generation of this device was like, but at the end of the day what I can tell you is it's an external battery pack. You can charge two devices via USB simultaneously and it works. That's a about the long and the short of it really. Now at a 9,600 milliamp hour battery, this one does pack a whacking great charge. Enough realistically to charge a, a Galaxy S6 three times, or my tablet from the Nvidia Shield would be charged about one and a half times off this battery, roughly. Now, let's first have a look at the packaging. The packaging is actually pretty good. It gives you a pretty good rundown as to what this device is capable of charging. Pretty much anything with a USB, basically. And a nice little front flip so you can get a sense of the product. But hey, it's only a box, so let's rip in, shall we? Okay, so the first thing that really strikes you is this kind of anodized aluminium, I suppose you would call it. It is plastic. It is a plastic housing all the way, but it has had this metallic finish uh, added to the plastic substrate, which makes it look a little bit more premium. Now, we also get the obligatory micro USB cable for anyone that doesn't already have 400,000 of these. It's actually a decent length as well. Um, one of the things that I found slightly annoying with a lot of external battery packs is the cable is, sometimes they give you something that flipping long. This one is a good sort of two foot of cable there. Maybe a foot and a half would be a bit more uh, generous. We also get the obligatory instruction manual, which is um, not exactly long. Uh, but, you know, with an external battery pack, these things are fairly idiot-proof. Um, I really do mean that if you can't get one of these working. And the other thing in there is a really nice little carry case. It's that one of those little sort of plushy type things. Um, nice little fabric. Feels nice in the hands for those that care. Anyway, let's actually look at the device itself. Now, it's all very simple and straightforward. What we have on the top of the device is a micro USB connector there and two full-sized USBs here. You will charge through the one in the center, charging up this power pack, and you will discharge into the device you want to recharge through the USBs. Like I say, you can do charge two devices simultaneously. Now, when you actually come to want to um, charge up a device, it is very straightforward. Let's do it with the Galaxy S6. All we need to do, plug in, oops, go it the right way around, plug in the USB end there and take the micro USB end and plug it into the bottom of your device. And like I say, this will be the same for any device you care to mention and straight away it's detected the fact the device has been plugged in and it started charging. Simple and straightforward as that. Now, with the best will in the world, I haven't been able to make this particular external battery pack trigger with quick charge. We have had a few come through here for review that have worked with the quick charge functionality of the Galaxy S6 and other devices, but on this occasion, not for this particular one by Zendure. Now you can actually see the current battery levels on the uh, device there. So if it's uh, four bars all the way to the top, it's got a full charge onto the battery. If it's got only half, two lights lit up, then there's only going to be half a charge on the battery pack. It's a very simple and straightforward way of really giving you that information.